All right. It says we're live. Let me know. Let me know if you hear me. Talk to me. In the chat, do you hear? I got video. Do you have audio? I need a thumbs up from somebody. Okay, we're good. Oh, oh my gosh. It has been a long time, ladies and gentlemen, Arm TV Nation. What is up? Uh, for the uh, just full disclosure, we have a family in the background. If you hear some baby noises, oh my gosh, it's been a minute. Holy buckets. I've been thinking about the arm wrestling community a lot because I know that something big is happening. Hashtag Devin and Levon. Correct me if I'm wrong, that's happening pretty shortly. So, yes, I have been thinking about the arm wrestling community, but you know what? I have to have, again, a lot of full disclosures because I'm not going to come on here and state 100% definitively that I have not posted any videos because of Ryan Bowen. Ryan Bowen started the fire that burned my inner house down. Uh, yes, collapsed it, crushed my soul, which is why we're here to talk about Ryan Blue Bowen. More delusional than ever. Uh, given one of his posts today. However, Due to life, uh, the last time you saw me, I was living in Long Grove, Illinois. I had a little private podcast room that I'd built out out of my wife's family's home. Uh, since then, relocated to Oregon. Uh, happy Father's Day. Speaking of my first Father's Day without my dad, my dad passed away uh, right around Thanksgiving. And uh, we are in a much tighter cramped uh, space. I didn't have a podcast room. Wife pregnant, had a baby four months ago. And uh, due to all those things is that I haven't begun to try to build my house back, if you will. So did Ryan Blue Bowen burn down the house? Yes. Have I been lazy and had life get in the way of me building the house back? Yes, so we won't 100% say it's his fault that there's no videos. But anyways, let's get to the topic at hand. Oh, my God. I have not been fired up in so long. Happy Father's Day to all of you in the chat. I have missed you. Yes, I do have some dedicated fans that have hung out there. And you have chatted every once in a while. Where are you? Where are you? Let me just, for the record, for all those people that I, I talked to Travis Bajant uh, two nights ago. And uh, he's like, bro, what's up? I said, too. let me tell you, having a baby has made it hard to, like, you know, do arm wrestling. And he's like, you busted my balls for when I'd miss out on some podcasts. He's like, remember, I have four children bro four so yes while i was podcasting with one baby uh my bubby i was giving people hard times who weren't you know being consistent uh anyways my apologies because man yeah it is hard work anyways that being said i need glasses because as an old man i'm going blind but thank you for joining us uh we have uh how many people were in here? 80 people watching. Do you guys know? I mean, here's the deal. Ryan Bowen, I'll be honest. This is going to be a bit of a callback before we get into everything, but uh, you guys know Bob Brown, right? Bob Brown Arm Wrestling. Check out his YouTube channel, and uh, sometimes he posts on Facebook. I was catching up with Bob Brown back in the day, and he's like, Dude, since you've left arm wrestling, arm wrestling is blown up. And he pointed out Ryan Bowen as the example. He said, Ryan Bowen is making mad bank. 
in arm wrestling and he doesn't even live here. He lives in Australia. So he says, you got to go check out Ryan Bowen's YouTube channel. And again, if you've heard this story before, forgive me for repeating it. But before we get into the heart of everything, uh, you know, I got to do a little bit of backstory because that's what I do. I tell backstories. Anyway, so I go on Ryan Bones' channel, and I sort oldest, and I'm watching all of his videos. And uh, you can't, as delusional as he can be, you can't take away the, the dude did have passion. He was creating videos uh, before he ever had an audience. And most people, like uh, I used to read a lot of uh, success books and, uh, you know, how to be a successful entrepreneur, you know. And, uh, you know, a lot of the mantras are like, hey, never stop fighting. Don't quit. You know, if you want to take like door to door salesmen, it's like it doesn't matter how many times someone slams the door in your face and says, no, you got to keep knocking because at some point the door is going to open. Ryan Bowen's YouTube channel. It, it, it is very much that because in the beginning days, I promise you a thousand of you in the chat or wherever watch this video. 999 of you would have stopped YouTubing because when you're talking and like some of his videos is like his energy and his excitement is like he's talking to a million people about how to arm wrestle, but it shows like nine views and that's after six years. So when he streamed that shiznits, he only had one view, his wife. Anyways. I was like, okay, got to give it to this guy. Got to give it to this guy. Uh, so I watched all his videos and you can clearly see the day his channels exploded is right around the time. He'd probably say is right around the time he met John Brzezink, but it literally was right around the time he discovered that he's got some skills in the commentary. He took some wall videos and he commentated over the, the video and he posted it and those went viral. Now, when we get into this, common theme there's kind of like this understood thing that's like okay it's okay to like i mean for anyone who doesn't know i know because i i was streaming videos before the word stream ever existed so back in the when some of you were still on dial-up and you know aol had not been dead too long i was working on how to stream videos. I was in the old forum chat rooms where people were trying to discover when you download a video, basically your browser is downloading the entire video into your thing and then you could push play and you've taken all the content. The concept of streaming was, man, it's a really big waste to have people download an entire let's say it's a gigabyte file you have to download the gigabyte file before you play it back in those days it was like megabytes the concept was the first 10 seconds if it's a megabyte can you download the one megabyte and then by the time you got to 11 seconds it begun downloading the second megabyte and it let go so you're just pulling the data as you need it. That is where the term streaming came from. Ladies and gentlemen, I was in this business before all you bitches, before YouTube existed, I was working on that shit. <sighs> Anyways, YouTube, how did YouTube get its fame? YouTube got its fame and it became viral because it allowed the community this is 100% truth. It allowed the community to upload stolen content. Perfect example. Right now, you can go on YouTube and you can search almost any scene from the show Friends. And you can get scenes like sound bites and funny things that people now meme and have shared forever. But in the early days, it wasn't allowed. And it upset the television companies bigly. So people were uploading shows and YouTube was allowing it in those early days. And uh, the television companies fought back. It got in the news. And that's what made YouTube originally go viral among everyone else. So it got famous by allowing stolen content. And once it was famous, then it promoted 
basically early YouTubers uploading their content and more self-creator stuff. But in those early days, make no mistake, it's how YouTube got to be, okay? Well, anyways, it was kind of a, you know, you're already successful, so why do you care if someone uploads your fo footage? It's like these actors have made millions of dollars. The companies have sold off the, the rights to these television shows and made millions of dollars. Why does anyone care if we share their content? Anyways, that was kind of the un, like it was okay if you were big. And I would say the same thing held true for Ryan Bone. Ryan Bone was a little nobody at that time. And Wall was, you know, Wall, Steve Kaplan, big money, bah, bah, bah. Why would he care if his, his stuff was uploaded? Anyways, that's how Ryan Bowen's channel got big. Am I missing any cool stuff? Let me scan through the comments here before we continue with our, our delusional all right i yeah I, I don't know i don't want to stay on target but oh we have i was gonna wear my uncle uncle john in the chat okay i guess i forgot about super chats gotta go back super chats uh uncle john hashtag uncle john oh juji mugu 199 super chat hashtag f bowen Here's the thing. We'll get back onto the bone story. But I saw as a go get it type guy who's spirited, I saw that Ryan Bowen had haters originally. And I did my best to get on the Ryan Bowen train to respect what the man was accomplishing. Uh, I, because of the sake of the community and trying to remain friends, the few cringy things that were done here and there, you know, I try to just blow it off. Like, you know, I get it. Even when the first delusional series, I, to credit them, arm wrestling Bible, I think you guys started that. Um, yeah. It's like, you can like Ryan Bowen and you can still laugh at some of this stuff. Cause it's like, it's kind of funny. It's like, you know, we should be able to laugh at ourselves. Anyways, I was a supporter of Ryan Bowen. So I think you can, take i'm all about it i'm just being transparent as possible i have no hidden motive or agenda it's just telling you like it is anyways i was an early fan of ryan bowen is my point juju mugu f bowen i'm starting to agree uncle john's arm wrestling show 699 super chat gary you escape you escaped come back to me uncle john i think about you often I do, especially when I put on my Uncle John shirt where my logo is peeling off and I was going to wear it, but it's totally dirty and I was running out of time and I knew I was going live and I was trying to do my research, but you got to see my, sh my shirt, man. It's fallen apart because I wear it so much. And this is not a lie. The townhome community that I live in, I was walking to my car and I passed a young girl I would say she was 20 and she looked right at the shirt and she said cool shirt I'm sure she had no idea it was related to arm wrestling but the logo stuck out and she said cool shirt and I thought to myself oh that's kind of random <laughs> I you know I haven't been commented on any shirts in a long time and here it was just this random anyways uncle john i miss you too and we'll get back to me coming back ozzy arm wrestler 299 super chat we want our arm tv come back ozzy you're doing i mean why do i need to come back when you have completely you're just doing awesome man i see you're doing great things since like dude you're filling in the gaps bro what do you need me for Okay. Uh, someone says, remember Gary freaked out at Bill Collins as well? Yes, we all make mistakes. We all make mistakes. And, and you know, not to get on it too sidetracked, but Bill Collins, I've always loved Bill Collins. Bill Collins was at my wedding. Arm TV 
was near and dear to my heart. And uh, when that happened, it was like, you know, I just got, I let's say overreacted. Anyways, it's all good. And uh, I still love Bill and I hope, I hope he's over my, my delusional moments, if you will. Okay. So let me make sure I have it. Okay. I think I got all the super chats. If I missed something, you let me know. Okay. So, you know, Ryan Bones channel exploded off using content, but from what I've seen since I got back into the sport of arm wrestling, you know, I, I saw that Ryan has mad skills. Like he, he's, I mean, here's the deal. I just looked at what his numbers is and I think he did like 4 million views uh, last the last 30 days. Now, is he using other people? I don't, I don't know how much other people's content he's using and whether it's with, with permission or not, but I believe 100% that his uh, skills, it can be done. Here's the deal. I'm not, I'm kind of don't have a, a full track here, but the thing is, and why we got here is he posted something about like mental health and blah, blah, blah. And this whole delusional series is, and it's like, somebody posted like what about gary roberts like ryan i contacted you and i said dude this is causing me like the mental anguish that you're inflicting like he's like but i i have rights i'm like you have rights but it's like what is right right versus wrong i mean let's like I, he's like i will see you in court like he was like, you need to take it up. And YouTube, YouTube basically has the opinion of, hey, this is a cat fight going on here and we want nothing of it. So if you really do put up a fight, they will step out and say, handle it amongst yourselves. Okay, let, let's, I got off the point. Let's get to it. I, I, I open up Facebook. Somebody tagged me. And I see this message, Ryan Bowen group expert in arm wrestling you was underground right arm awu reloaded arm wrestling uncensored no uncensored arm wrestling uncensored reloaded let's read ryan bones posts together shall we my honest position on the delusional series is this now someone's gonna have to fill me in the chat i looked on arm wrestling bible's channel and i didn't see any video that was newer than two weeks and i didn't even watch that two week old one because i was running out of time for doing research but did something happen in the delusional series recently that caused ryan to do this post because at the end of the day the way i look at it is i see ryan is crushing it like why <laughs> one on a side note since you are crushing it why do you need I'm a smaller channel. Why do you need my footage to tell your story? I told you it. Uh, I, I, <laughs> sorry if I'm all over the place. Okay. It is a series that makes deliberate negative efforts to ruin my reputation for the reward of internet popularity. It deliberately and grossly avoids and manipulates context to maximize the appearance of contradiction. I have zero time or respect for it. It has a real world negative impact on the mental health of me, my parents, my wife, and my children. To the creator, whether you think you're cool or not, whether you think I'm right or wrong, an idiot or genuine, what you create causes negative mental health this is what inspired me to to go live is that statement you caused me ryan bowen negative mental health i strongly disapprove of it and think it is a perfect example of burning bridges to fulfill a desire that's so interesting burning bridges to fulfill a desire. It sounds so reminiscent of something. I can't quite put my finger in it, but 
God, that sounds close to something. To fulfill a desire for dopamine in the form of anonymous internet support. I will always stand by the content creators who focus on positively affecting the people around them. I will never stand by the people that aim to benefit at the expense of others. I will never stand by the people that aim to benefit. I feel like we're getting in delusional territory here. I mean, this is falling into the not funny delusional. Some of the other videos, I think that it's kind of funny. Uh, People have been sued. People have been sued for stuff and courts have decided that if something is truly indeed funny, then it's like they have rights. They have rights when it comes to funny. Like if it's if it, they're literally trying to cause harm, like being malicious, it's like, OK, maybe you have a point. But if you're being funny and I haven't watched all of the delusional stuff, but some of the stuff it is funny because I think Ryan Bowen must know that some of the things that he says are intentionally ridiculous because he knows it gets conversation going so i think it even legally puts you in fair game territory but again on the record i don't know 100 percent what has been said in the delusional series because i have not watched them all nor the recent ones but that statement i will never stand by the people that aim to benefit at the expense of others again his channel benefits at the expense of using other people's footage now hearkening back to the beginning if you following if you're already if you're already successful i feel it dulls the pain of it uh but anyways why i was so obsessed cuz my arm tv do I give the backstory now? Some of you may not know the details, but anyways, my whole point is like, dude, I'm a smaller channel. In my video, some of my video, like I have the the John Brzezink, uh, Devin Laird, the first time they ever met, uh, a right-handed, I think they are mostly left-handed in Japan or something, but the first time they ever met right-handed, like that footage is rare. Like the more it's shared, the more it's, it's watered down. And I, I explained that to Ryan Bowen and he just thinks, well, I have rights. And I'm like, but you're, you're, via, you're violating me, man. That, like people would disagree. This, uh, some people have said, Hey, you're more than just your footage or whatever. But at the end of the day, what I'm currently have that other people don't have is I have the rare content. And if everyone's able to just copy it, which socially it's it's really being pushed down in throats that it should just be okay to do it especially if it's shorter clips i mean the whole reels phenomenon and the stories it's like you should just the 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 platforms are really making it for you could just copy and share everyone's stuff and no one should be harmed and the thing about arm wrestling is that i mean to quote neil pickup slightly i don't know if it's full quote he's like hey if you're producing a show and it's an awesome show then the the arm wrestlers are going to tune in to watch no matter what so it doesn't matter if someone's shared your stuff as long as you have a good quality show but i've even found myself falling into the i don't if i don't want to spend the whole 30 minutes sometimes just want to watch the highlights and so I have clicked on someone else's channel to watch highlights. East, West, for example, I was trying to watch the stream, but when I, you know, I didn't even try. Some of the matches just showed up on Facebook. And so the, all the stuff that I've watched from East versus West, all the time, energy, and efforts that Ingen Terzi put into that event between him and his sponsors and you know, whatever else took to put on on event. I, Gary Roberts, didn't even try to seek out watching those matches. They just showed up in my my feed of people filming the computer. So I've seen East, West. I didn't pay for it. My views didn't benefit Ingen Terzi or whichever clubs or promoters. It's like, it's, I mean, it's, 
It's everywhere, bro. <sighs> Anyways, back on the thing. Uh, the sport is full of wonderful people who put in enormous efforts to give others opportunity. To those people, they will always receive not only my support, but my direct and genuine efforts to help them grow. Nothing will stop me from putting in genuine effort to grow the sport and empowering as many people as possible to call arm wrestling a career. I, without a shadow of a doubt, will tell you the you have to put in blood and sweat and tears for arm wrestling, even after all these years of walking away. Ryan Bowen, I promise you, you still haven't matched my blood, sweat, and tears during my day. You still haven't matched it. Uh, I, you got at least, you got, I don't know, man. I'd say five more years before you can even come close to the blood, sweat, and tears that I put in for, for the sport. And for when I said, hey, bro, I sent you a message. You, he posted the Paul Lynn, John Brzezink footage. And I was like, Hey, I'd only aired it on, on my, uh, I'd only aired it on Travis. And I, it was on Travis's channel, but I gave Travis permission to air it because we had a deal, but it's still my footage. <clears throat> he aired it like within a day and a half. He talked over and he said, I changed it. This is now new content. I have a right. And I was like, bro, no, I, I initially, I, I clicked the, <laughs> no, I pricked. Bah, bah, bah. And he acted like, well, you didn't even talk to me. You didn't even come to me like a man. And he made this whole thing about being man that I didn't, I wasn't a man and come to him. <clears throat> and uh, then a day later, he posted the, like John Brzezink. Devin Larrant match, like my singular, most like cherished match. And to even more support my point that it's rare is that I went, spent thousands of dollars on a high speed computer so I could uh, upscale the footage to HD. So, which makes it even more rare because when you're copying it, you're copying not just that match, but you're copying the actual upscaled footage that you didn't spend any time. You didn't spend any money on that computer, and yet you're sharing that match. And when I was like, hey, 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 you put up a fight with YouTube, and you said, I will see you in court, no matter how much the mental anguish I said it cost me. Now we want, let's get, do I have to prove that I suffered like mental anguish? Here's the deal. I've been on a few streams, thanks to Ozzy Arm Wrestle and Arm Wrestler, and I was on Uncle John's stuff at some point uh i got to the point where i felt like it's like this is really a principled thing that i'm i it's worth fighting for and i'm not saying uh the arm wrestling community is at fault or whatever for the reaction but i got the genuinely feeling that over the course of time I even myself was getting annoyed about complaining about it. And I was like, it's one of those things where it's like, you can just feel it. People are like, all right, we've heard it. You're right. But this is the life we live in. So just shush, just shush and fall in line. And it's like a lifetime. Okay. So this is more backstory. My wife is the beast. She's, she was like, almost valedictorian, smartest person I know, you know, went to great college and, and she kills it. And, uh, I'm, I'm like, well, if I have to work, you know, I, I don't think I can make what you make, you know, this business just isn't, uh, the videography. I'm producing videos. It's like, you know, you never know. <sighs> and she had this thing. I'm like, you know, it'd be nice if you could, contribute something to the family it's like you know of course and then i brought up arm wrestling and she's like arm wrestling and she never quite still to this day doesn't uh she respects what i did she has res 
she she gets the community and the passion but you know she just is not a hundred percent like she doesn't get it right she's a girl right not i'm not saying girl but she's a girl who doesn't really like sports so you know my getting back involved with arm wrestling had to do with finding a way could i find a way to contribute to the family and uh just so you know my youtube channel to date lifetime when i came back in the sport whenever it was lifetime it's made twenty five thousand dollars in revenue lifetime at the most the most i ever made was uh uh eighteen hundred dollars no no sixteen hundred dollars in a month and i i think i worked full time so and i had to pay taxes on that 1800 let's say it's 25 percent. so let's do some quick math uh uh 40 hours times four that's 160 hours if you're working full time i think i at least did that so let's say uh 1800 times 0.75 is 1350 in 1350 i said divided by 160 eight dollars an hour so my job in arm wrestling was paying me roughly like eight dollars an hour and that's like it the majority of the youtube community they don't they don't care they don't care who has the video they just want to click and watch and they don't care about all these details and let me tell you ryan bowen i know the numbers man i know the math i started making youtube making revenue on the internet before youtube existed i know the effing math and i know what matters and i'm not just being a bitch in order for my channel to survive it's smaller than Ryan Bones. I need every edge I can. And if I'm will, if I'm going to do the work, and in the early days, I I don't even know how much I put out for the uh, the ROTN event, but I, I gave out prize money uh, in Illinois. Uh, you know, I gave, I thought Wayne Withers at my event, so I gave him, I think, airplane money or a couple hundred bucks to come to the event. Like, Dude, I gave out more money than my YouTube channel made during those period of time. Banners, it's like really putting it all out there. To go back to Ryan Bones, to people who put in efforts to grow the sport, I will, you, they will always have my support, my direct and genuine efforts to help them grow. You hear that? So I'm just giving you some backstory. I won it's having to talk to my wife. Yes, this is worthy of my time. Let me tell you, eight dollars an hour ain't uh, ain't the uh, minimum wage, right? Like it or not, yes, I had to. I had to get some revenue from arm wrestling to justify the time and energy, and especially to hold an event and give out prize money. I was kind of going all in like i want to be back arm wrestling derek love you gary anyways to catch you up it's like hey i just needed especially ryan bones channel it's larger than mine i have okay i think on my greatest on my greatest month of four hundred thousand views four hundred thousand views netted me the 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 1600 let's say 1500 after the taxes so that's just youtube streaming every 400,000 views i made 1500 bucks so ryan bone had 4 million ryan bone 4 million divided by 400,000 because 400,000 views is what i have to go on the metrics it's a tenfold so 10x if he roughly did some of the numbers, and again, I'm just this we could be making it up, but I think it's pretty close. If I made 1500 per 400,000, 
1500, 1500 by 10 is last month, Ryan Bowen Shannon would have made $15,000. Again, when I, when it, me and Ryan had this thing, I don't think his numbers were like that. But still, the point is, my math was barely a thousand. I wrote, I know he's selling memberships. I know he's selling merch. So let's say his channel minimum, even on a bad month, was making, you know, three to five thousand. Here's a guy trying to talk his wife into doing arm wrestling, even taking the little money that I had and paying it out. So not even making how many people do you know that are making eight bucks an hour that are turning around and then spending that eight bucks on banners and prize money and giving it away. And then someone comes along who's multiple times your size and viewers and says, I have the right to take your shit. No matter what you say, no matter what you say, it's my right. And the, internet and the world and social the social structure is supporting especially in smaller clips supporting that right that you you have the right no matter what and so when i put the title like the delusional ryan bone strikes back he's literally coming on here telling you it hurts him and i have a real world example where it really Really? You want to talk about mental health, bro? I have been struggling with the fact, do I return to the sport of arm wrestling? And if I return, do I have to? Okay. I hate to use, you know, when you hear stories about, uh, inappropriate touching family members, let's say inappropriately touching their siblings. And it's like, well, why don't you speak up? Well, if I speak up, then it's like, oh, then I break up the family. And then everyone's like, oh, you put dad in jail. And it's like, it's like we get it. It was wrong. But we maybe can we just be quiet about it? And so a lot of cases, they, they just sweep it under the rug because it's a lot easier to just keep the peace, even though we know it's wrong. And this is an extreme example to say that, but my point is when I've been struggling with the fact that I feel violated when Ryan Bowen looks at me and says, you have no power. I can take whatever I want and talk over it. I have every right to do so. And so I've been struggling with the fact if I return to the sport of arm wrestling, Am I basically agreeing that that's just the way it is? You just violate it. You just have to shut up to keep the family, you know, happy and, and not rip away. So part of the reason why I haven't come, I came onto some live streams like with the Aussie, but I, I'm like a broken record. And I'm like, God, you're just the guy now bitching that Ryan has touched your privates and you, you know, you know, just, you know, taking control, violating of you and your, you just, are, I want to, I want to hear me shut up. It's like, why can't Ryan just stop touching my privates? You know what I'm saying? It's like, bro, that's mine. You have your own. Okay. Touch yourself, bro. Okay. The sport is full of wonderful people. To those people, they will always receive not only my support, but my direct and general, genuine efforts. Nothing will stop me from putting in genuine, genuine effort to grow the sport. And in my real world example, Ryan, you're upset at someone who's willing to burn bridges to fulfill a desire and you gladly burn down my bridge bro burn down my house bro what the f are you talking about <sighs> i'm more resilient oh to those who think this is me losing the battle no it's not i'm more resilient than ever i think it's cheap it's lame it's negative and i'm certain that the person behind it would actually never have the courage to sit down with me and have a beer and explain to me why they made this series 
Ryan Bowen, the thing about you is I know 100%. You would sit down with a beer with me and you would, Ryan Bowen, explain away how it's still perfectly okay for you to use my footage because you think you legally have the right and then I should just shut it. I wish them well and hope they actually put their editing skills to positive use for the sport someday. Uh, so that's Ryan Bones. I missed a few super chats. Let's um, go on back here. And again, I, th so this whole thing, like mentally struggling, uh, man, dude, you're talking about the mental pain that others are putting in you and it's in direct conflict. I told you what, what it was doing to me that you didn't, uh, 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 I'm looking for super chats. Looking for super. Oh, okay, there we are. Levon Saganish, Saganishvili's kidney. One dollar super chat. Thank you, Caroline Looms. Is it Looms or Loomis? I forgot. You know, I almost kind of even forgot if I knew how to go uh, live here. Uh, principles matter, Caroline, and it's like. Uh, Here's the deal. Since this has happened, I've seen uh, Facebook implement F Facebook implement thing, uh, things across uh, uh, broad uh, across both platforms of Instagram, and then that it, it's making it even more easy to sample content. Like you can save the audio, and it's they do the split and the. There's now this, this reaction videos where you can take, I mean, literally, okay, here's some behind the scenes for you. I talked to Devin Laird like two months ago, and he's like, bro, dude, just do it right back. Just take all Ryan Bones videos and just do, re like, he was basically saying do, like, reaction stuff to his stuff and just share, and it's like, I loved it. I was like, that's brilliant. That's brilliant. I will create an entire channel that's reaction to delusional Ryan Bowen. But I was like, oh my God, I don't even, I haven't even, it's been very difficult to find the time because I of uh, the now two babies to do content. And I was like, I, I don't know why I told Devin that I'm like, I, I cannot mine Ryan Bowen's channel and just pump out content while I have, a baby that's not even sleeping through the night yet, but like on the internet, you can take anyone's stuff on Instagram and you can, I believe, at least this is what I see. You can just copy it and then you could just play it. And then you record your face going. Did he just say that? What? What? Oh my God. And it's completely, it's completely okay. It's like now in the world of arm wrestling, you can just take anyone's arm wrestling footage and then you can just put your face to it and you, you don't even have to give con commentary. You can take the teacher's voice from Snoopy commercials. Wah, 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 What language is that? It, it's commentary. Wah, 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 wah. You can even, to save time, you don't even have to commentary the whole thing. You can do a 30-second clip of you doing wah, 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 and you can loop it across the entire video. And now you've added genuine, you've changed the original content enough that it's now legal to use it no matter what the original creator says. And Ryan Bowen, you didn't even credit you didn't even drop credit, bro. You just, you just did it. Anyways, uh, arm wrestling, Derek, is it true? You're going to arm wrestle soon. I just saw you said you're your best self. I do believe, man, I've missed so much. I can't believe how much I missed. Uh, too much Gary can be too much. Yes, of course we know. Okay. So. Have we covered the delusional Ryan Bowen stuff enough? I cannot believe my uh, 
my YouTube revenue went to $170 last month. So it's dropped. What's what's 170 divided by 1500? It's 11%. Since Ryan Bowen decided to burn down my house and disrespect me, my revenue has dropped 89%. So I think about it. I think about coming back, but I just, if I'm going to have to work in arm wrestling, there has to be some sort of, uh, I mean, like I told you, I didn't even try to seek out the East West footage. It hit me on Facebook, unauthorized airings. And uh, it's like, dude, if I come back and I put effort into arm wrestling and then everyone just posts that shit on Facebook, all the highlights, how am I going to accomplish what I want to accomplish in the sport of arm wrestling? Neil pickup so much venom in our sport. It's such a shame. I absolutely agree that people shouldn't steal people's footage and should respect, but it's a shame. Everyone has the knives out for each other. I did not have the knives out for Ryan Bowen. Uh, I've watched a couple of his pasts. He's put some more effort. He, he posted a, um, a more a documentary, uh, longer style edit. And it's like, it's amazing. It's mostly of other people's footage. I don't know where the footage came from. And it's like, I'll be honest. If it was my footage and Ryan Bowen was making 15,000 a month, I would, I mean, there'd have to be some sort of, I mean, he should be paying paying for content if he's making that kind of money and especially if you're uh taking it from smaller channels i don't know i i'm on un i'm unsure but uh the reason i'm here it's it's not to throw knives mr neil pickup it's that he blatantly says something that he doesn't like that he did exactly to me and uh it's like I mean, it's so ridiculous. And if you read the comments, some of the people are pointing that out. Like, like who said? Jonas, Jonas, Ryan Bowen. Did you do the same favor for Gary when he asked you nicely, when he clearly told you that your actions directly caused him harm? Whether you agree with me or not in my principles, you can't argue that I legitimately felt like I legitimately felt violated, right? It's like, I mean, I wasn't just making it up. Uh, Timmy Turner, haven't read that name in a while. What I find impressive is how Ryan Bowen isn't even that good of an arm wrestler, but his channel has more subscribers than Ermes, Toddzilla, Barbosa. Why isn't it scrolling up? Hey, man. The key to success on the internet is i mean it's it the uh i mean this it's clearly proof you don't have to be the best arm wrestler like now uh things i'm noticing things that are going viral on uh on the internet are people completely just making stuff up like uh i saw this video the other day and it's like it shows oh what happens if you put a banana in milk and put it in the freezer for two hours and then they cut to them pulling out the banana and it's clearly like a rubber toy but they're trying to convince you that this really happens there's people legitimately they they're posting videos knowing it's just going to drive the viewer insane and they have to comment this is the most ridiculous thing i've ever seen blah 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 and it's that's going viral so now that's gone viral and uh now people are just taking it doing all sorts of crazy stuff it's clearly not i mean it's clearly just fake videos but the certain people are just so upset they're trying to trick you and it's like anything any yeah rl gary's still complaining i'm out of here and unsubscribing that's exactly my point rl you you've missed the entire thing but that's the point that's the point man that's the point if i come back do i have to suck it up and accept what is uh what is done it's like i don't know but at this point 
uh, arms for videos. And if you watermark your content, it just gets cropped out. Exactly. I put the little My Arm TV down at the bottom, and it just gets cropped out. Uh, that my point is is like yeah with the, with the way the world is I don't I don't see how I could ever accomplish what I wanted to accomplish in the sport of arm wrestling with the way uh, content is now being distributed. It's like uh, I mean it is what it is. But um, someone fill me in. What's going on? In this, uh, what have I missed? That's a dumb question. I miss so much. Um, Devin, is it? I've seen stuff with Devin. He's looking uh, extremely huge. Levon, of course, looks huge. But does does Devin have a chance against Levon? I have no idea what anyone thinks. Is uh, can this happen? My opinion of I I'm the guy like when I was watching arm wrestling is like okay. Uh, Levon just seemed too freaky and big for anyone to beat him. And it was very difficult for me to think that anybody could give him a match. And I've always been a fan of Devin Laird, but it's still very difficult for me to get out of uh, that mindset of how uh, freaky and scary uh, uh, Levon is. So if you take it like, like, uh, the end of Rocky with the Drago and when they have the big match in Russia and how when you saw the size and you're just like, Oh my God, Rocky has no chance. I, I just have this visualization and I don't know. Uh, the, does Devin have a shot against Levon put yes or no in the chat? I, I haven't been paying attention enough to know uh, if this is a going to be a, a good match. Fill me in. Oh, I forgot to check. How many people tuned in to uh, to hear 136? That's not, that's not bad. Uncle John. Is Uncle John still in the chat? Uh, yes, yes, no. Gary, seven more minutes to wrap. Oh, Neil Pickup is on soon? Okay, awesome. Anyways, I just had to vent because I understand this is a 10% chance. Uh, you guys, uh, Neil Pickup's going to be on seven minutes. Uh, I thank you guys all for showing, man, I, the thing about it is so much content is being pumped out. Like when I look, I've just gotten overwhelmed. I, it was difficult when I was up to date on the daily happenings of arm wrestling to still go back and watch all the videos for when we were doing live streams for me to like try to get caught up now. It's just, it's so overwhelming. Head to Neil's after. Yes. Everyone go to Neil, N Mr. Neil pickup. Mad respect for all of you guys. I mean, I said my piece, Juju, in the past. Like I covered it. It's like, I mean, I can't just keep going on about it, right? I mean, really, the only answer is to do what Devin Larratt said, to just 100% of my energies go to just take so much Ryan Bowen content to just you know, you know, petty, petty revenge, if you will. Andre, something, come back. Hey, hey, listen, here's the deal. I don't know if you guys know, I have, uh, I have uh, babies, brand new four month old babies. And I got to be honest, it is, man, it's, here's, uh, here's my babies this morning. Uh, these guys, that's some work. And, uh, I, it's 
gonna be some balance for me to uh uh to figure out how to uh get back to editing again and and still i'm in charge of babies now that you are back on the airways come on my show for a chat and a laugh gary honestly don't open your facebook pms for me your phone will melt Hey, Gary, got to run, brother. Hope you get back in the mix. I also hope you and your family. Hey, a happy Father's Day, Mr. No Pickup. I guess you're going on live. We'll probably end this in just a moment. It's This is the best part, to be honest, is going through the chat. Uh, I, love, I love chat. I love reading chat. Uh, uh, to, to give you guys some just what's going on in my life for the last couple of minutes, uh Sevan Matosian has uh, he's my old boss he's producer of pulling John he uh he called me up he asked me hey are you doing uh CrossFit and uh he said I want to uh I want to sponsor you to do CrossFit for the next year to get back into shape and uh so th- I've now been back at CrossFit for almost a month and uh we've been filming some stuff and it's going to air on uh, Sevon's channel. I think you should focus more on yourself, your channel, than energy, than wasting, because Ryan pirated content. It's an uphill battle, not leading anywhere. I feel like that the energy could be invested better. Yeah, you know what the simple thing is? Simple thing is for Ryan Bowen just to be like, all good, Gary. I'm fine without your content. It's all good, man. It's all good. Like, why can't he just say that? I like you know what I mean? Um, my wife just started a new job, so she's been having to work uh, the extras. And uh, so it's, I'm, I'm picking up, there's no way at the moment I can uh, do work while she's trying to learn this new job. But, uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Guys, thank you very much for tuning in i haven't forgot about you i will be oh my we have a memorial we have a memorial for a cousin on the same day as the uh the devon match so i will definitely be uh watching that and uh anyways i miss you guys now you're just dreaming gary what which part what did i say i'm not sure what uh scott is talking about please protect your privates right just stop touching me stop touching me right uh all righty i guess that's gonna be it uh thank you very much for taking the time it's been about an hour hey that's awesome uh every once in a while i have not responded to a youtube comment in months I do read them when they pop up. So if you've said we miss you, Gary, come back. I've read it. I just haven't responded just because it's it's been so easy. It's been so easy to just focus on family and kind of arm wrestle. Oh, 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 oh. Part of the reason, part of the reason why I haven't uh even posted something because i know when i start posting i want to be committed so it's kind of like hey i'm gonna i'm gonna join a marathon and once the marathon starts it's like you know you've got you got to now continue running so i know the first video i post is like starting the marathon this is kind of a one-off because i had the comment but that's kind of uh uh what why I've been holding off is because I was like, okay, when I begin, I've got to like commit. So anyways, I, I miss you guys. Thank you for tuning in and following me. And I'm sorry it just came off as yet another bitch, but you know, someone's got to call Ryan out when he's being delusional. Hence the delusional series arm wrestling Bible. I think they're the, that's what came up, right? Arm wrestling Bible. They're the guys. Okay, I'm logging off. Caroline, we love you too. Arm wrestling fan, Devin unfriended Bowen on Grinder. Oh my gosh. Did I miss any super chats? All right. I think I got them all. 
Thank you, guys. Peace out. Thank <laughs> you.